500 tornadoes over the past 30 days across the country, and as we know, our region is not immune. Today, marking the 34th anniversary of the Albion tornado, Samir Nefsi talked with residents about that day. He joins us now in the studio. That's right, Jill. The F tornado that made its way through Albion, PA, was part of one of the strongest tornado systems that has ever hit Pennsylvania. Very dreary and, you know, just a strange kind of weather that was black and then all of a sudden it just, just came in very fast. May 31st, 1985, a storm system moved into northwestern Pennsylvania and northeastern Ohio, bringing more than 30 tornadoes with it. The unimaginable devastation resulted in the loss of 12 lives in Albion. Albion resident Jim Mitchell recalls the moments before the tornado hit. Mitchell says after the lights flickered and hearing a loud noise, he walked down the street to the horrifying reality of what blew through town. As far as you could see, everything was leveled. There was a path, I'm going to say about a quarter of a mile wide, and it went all the way through town. What you're looking at is the site of St. Lawrence Church after the tornado hit. Mitchell says the Amish built the pitch roof for the church three years prior. After the destruction, the Amish came back and rebuilt the roof free of charge. He recalls a time when a reporter asked the priest if it was a miracle the statue of the Virgin Mary was unbroken just feet away from the church. He said... The miracles are how the people handled the situation. After the storm, the community came together to help those affected. However, Mitchell recalls the following day during a softball game, it was Northwestern versus Iroquois. The girls from Iroquois, every one of them, brought a yellow rose. They gave it gave it to each one of the Northwestern players. Mitchell says even with the passing of time, there will always be a scar from the storm. We'll never forget it, but we're living proof that, that a community can get through anything. And since a three-decade-old storm, the city has built a memorial for the victims that lost their lives that day. Samir Nefsi reporting tonight. Thank you, Samir.